go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go Hello everyone and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So we are starting in the car again today. I'm actually in different clothes, which is exciting. I've done, how many videos have I done so far? Four. I've wore the same thing on three of those videos. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing something different. We are pulled up somewhere. So I haven't really talked about it on the channel yet. I think I've talked about it on my Instagram. I'm not sure. So how many, is this the fourth week? Is that a fourth? I think it's the fourth. fourth. This is the fourth week of Oakley doing agility. So we started it four weeks ago. And yeah, that's what's happening today. It's on a Wednesday at 12 o'clock and it's 10 to 12 now. So we're just kind of sitting waiting. He is in the back. Oh, look at his little face. Uh, Jack is here with me Hello. for once. Uh, normally he's at work, but obviously I mentioned in yesterday's Vlogmas that he has finished his job and he doesn't start his new one till Monday. So he's not coming in because I like it would just be a pain anyway because you wouldn't be able to do it because you don't know mm -hmm. how to do it and covid and stuff so jack's gonna go do some shopping whilst i'm in here i'm gonna try and get some footage because a lady the other week very kindly uh took some footage i'll pop that up now actually so you can see him doing it So she filmed that last time, I think that was like two weeks ago, so I'll ask her if she can film it some again, it, it'll be on my phone though so it might not be great quality, but yeah he's doing really good, he really really enjoys it, oh crap I forgot to buy a clam, oh, I forgot to buy a piece of equipment that she told me to get, she'll probably have hers, but he really enjoys it, he loves being there, it's really good training for him actually as well, like when he's not doing it because the way the class works is there's like four of us five of us and we basically just all take turns rather than like us all being in there at once which is kind of what i expected when we first start when i first started going but we kind of just take turns because everybody there has done some agility before me whereas this was like my first ever block so um having to go in separately because he doesn't know how to do anything but he is picking it up really really quickly He's up to doing like six different things at once now, which is really good. You're, you're saying he's like he's quite good in comparison to some of the other dogs. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like uh, with the normal training, I thought the other dogs were going to be a lot better. Like when I booked it, I was saying saying to the like admin, I was like, "Look, he's not brilliant. He is good with his training, but he's not brilliant. He is very excitable. He wants to play." And they were like, "Oh, don't worry about it. It should be fine. We'll just keep an eye." And then I've went, and he's actually probably one of the best behaved dogs in there. So, yeah, he's the worst at agility, but the best at training, which is great, and it's really good like exposure with him because he's not playing with the dogs if I can help it, and he's just doing like a downstay through the majority of the time so it is really good and apparently he is brilliant at agility the teacher and a woman who's there who does it uh, professionally they've both said i don't think you realize how quickly he's picking this up like he's doing really really well so apparently he's very good at agility so it's oakley's new thing he um you i mean you've just seen that clip like it's crazy seeing him do it, like when he's our dog. On, that was only week two as well, if this is week four. Yeah, uh-huh. So, yeah, he's really good at it. And this is what? It's an eight-week block. Um, Was it eight or was it six? Yeah, it thought, goes into it next eight. year, I so maybe eight. eight. Yeah. Um, 
we are doing it at Raven River Dog Training in Bedlington from the northeast. Um, the, the, this was like, <laughs> I wanted Oakley to do something. Like, I wanted him to be in a class of obedience, agility. I really wanted him to do scent work. But the thing at the minute is every single training centre in Northumberland is, like, fully booked for everything. And then this one was like, we have some spaces for agility. And I was like, yes, I'll take it. So... I don't think the the aim with it, because I've had like people ask me if I'm looking to compete and stuff, the aim with it isn't to get him to a level where he can compete in agility. It's just to give him something to do and to exercise him and work his brain. So I think I'm going to put my name on some waiting lists for when this is done. For doing like other things maybe. So like cycle him through different stuff. Like I'd love for him to do some scent work because he loves using his nose. So yeah that's kind of the aim of it i don't think that i want to compete at the minute because it's just too stressful yeah it's stressful on me and i think it costs to like enter them and stuff so i don't think that's the aim at the minute but that's what's happening now it's on for an hour so jack's gonna make sure he's back in time mm -hmm. for it finishing and yeah then afterwards i don't know what we're doing but i might be going out with a friend later tonight and we're not entirely sure yet but yeah oh you might be able to see my nails a little bit better because of the light. Look! I'm obsessed with them! Oh my god, aren't they the cutest thing? I just keep looking at them and being like, <laughs> I love them. So, that's going to be it. I'll catch up with you when we are done. Hello everyone, it is now a lot later. Uh, really quickly, if you keep hearing beeping going off, our fire alarm has decided that it has no battery left, so it keeps beeping and we're not sure how to fix it currently. So, that's happening. Uh, right, so... I haven't vlogged the majority of the day, but I kind of didn't want to just like write this vlog off. So I just thought I'd, I'd chat about what happened and why I haven't vlogged um, as much as I can. So agility didn't go that well. Um, it's always been a difficult one because obviously it is a massive training experience when he's around so many other dogs and there is a lot of smells. That's the main issue with Oakley. The other dogs aren't that big of a problem. Uh, he doesn't like, not like being around dogs or anything. The only thing that he really does is like pull on his lead, which I don't like him to do, but obviously that's gonna happen. But the big thing is that there are a lot of smells and the other dogs, your tongue nearly went in my mouth there. The other dogs kind of bark. So that's really a distraction for him. And normally he's all right. He's like, he's bad, but not like bad, if that makes sense. Like it's challenging, but he's not bad. Whereas today, ugh, we did one, I didn't get any footage, as you can probably tell, because we only did one like round of like, ac what I would say like actual agility. So um, like doing the jumps and the tunnel and stuff. And we only did one round of that and it was just, Oakley just decided he didn't want to pay attention to me today and I'm not really sure what happened. The instructor was saying that it was just because he's feeling comfortable in the environment but I mean Oakley is quite good at paying attention to me so I don't really feel like that's it because even when we're in like brand new environments like new parks or a beach he still listens to me a bit better than what I feel like he did today. Like he wouldn't even do a sit stay and it was just really, really stressful. And it was the type of thing we use like a clam thing where you put the treats in it and you throw it like over a jump to get him to jump. I'm sorry about this camera again. The, and he ran, he kept running, he kept doing it and then running off with the clam and then just not coming back with it. Like he would not come back to me when I was calling on him. So I was getting really frustrated. He wouldn't sit stay. So it was hard to get him started in his jumps. Then the instructor, then the instructor got the, oh my god, what the, the weaving poles out, so the things where you, the things that you probably think of when you think of agility, so where the dogs weave in and out of them, and that was new for everyone apart from one person there, and that's the one who competes, but it was new for all of us, whereas normally it's just like me who's the newbie, but we started weaving today, and it was shaping, and me and Oakley do a lot of shaping anyway. So if you don't know what shaping is, it's kind of like where you don't tell them what you want. You let them figure it out and they get rewarded when they figure it out kind of thing and they offer you different behaviors. And, hi oh, baby boy. We were doing shaping with two like um, 
weaving poles and all he had to do was kind of go through the poles like that was it he just went through the poles and they got rewarded for that but I wasn't allowed to tell him anything and leading up to it I was like this is going to be fine because he does shaping at home and like the instructor said before you can tell you do shaping at home by what he does with the jumps and stuff but it got to our turn and it just I don't know the instructor kind of did it a little bit differently than what I did like I wasn't even allowed to like look at him like I had to look at a certain point at the floor and then like I think I accidentally moved my head and then the instructor told me off for moving my head because she thought I was like prompting him like that when I wasn't I was just looking at the floor and I think I just moved my head and then the instructor was like no don't do that so then I got a little bit like caught off guard and then I thought that meant that I wasn't allowed to look that I wasn't meant to be looking and then I was looking at him and she was like no you need to look at the floor and I was like right okay so then I was getting really flustered and then like normally with Oakley if he doesn't do anything I'll prompt him to do something like I'll like not point because then that's more like luring but like I'll just give him like a clue like I'll I'll do like a little head thing or I'll say okay because okay is his release word so it kind of lets him know I don't want him to be in like a sit I just want him to be doing something but I said okay and then the instructor told me off again and not told me off that's a bit extreme but she told me not to do that she was like no don't even do that so then I was getting frustrated and then when it's not our turn we basically just sit sit in like a pen thing and Oakley was just being a pain like he was constantly pulling on his lead he kept like oh and he, he pooed in the arena which he's never done before and no like I took him to the grass and everything and you're not you get like a penalty if you if they go to the toilet so he pooed in the arena um and then he just wasn't paying attention to me like at all when we're in like that holding pen thing and normally that's the bit that he struggles with but he's been really good like he's been getting so much better and he just like he kept yanking on my hand and it's the type of thing where it's not I'm not being like he can't do this and I'm sick of it I'm not being like that and, but I know he's a dog and there's going to be times like that but I've mentioned it before I don't have the best kind of temperament with stuff like that I get frustrated really really quickly and that's on me I know it's not on Oakley but I got really really frustrated uh so and I the thing is with agility, I kind of get a little bit annoyed if Oakley doesn't get a lot of time out there because I've paid money to be there. And that was literally all we did today. Like we literally just did like like a few jumps and then shaped a little bit, which I do at home anyway. And I was just a bit like, and then we walked outside because Jack came and picked me up and then he yanked me all the way to the car. So I got really frustrated and then kind of, it just got worse as I got back home and I got a little bit of like, just overloaded like I did not feel good I didn't want to do anything I didn't know what I was doing with myself and I've just not really done much so Jack kind of like took over and whilst we were having lunch we watched Hamilton uh because I started watching that last night when he was out and we just finished watching that and then that's kind of been it really he's went to the Jack's went to the gym now oh Cleet <laughs> um Jack's went to the gym now and I've been editing so I've just finished editing the come to home sense vlog with me and I'm going to start editing that but it just came into a little bit of a rubbish day and I've just I've only just started feeling a little bit better and the thing is like I don't want this to be like a down vlog because obviously it's vlogmas and it's meant to be festive but I, I felt really bad like starting the vlog and then like discontinuing it because I didn't feel good because you know like and it's a big thing on social media about saying how like social media is your highlight reel and I don't want anybody to ever watch my channel and be like oh well they don't have any bad days I'm sure you don't feel like that anyway from the amount of um, honesty I provide with Oakley but I just I felt bad about like just being like oh well no I'm not gonna put that on because I had a bad day so I, what happened there um so I hope you understand why I'm telling you and yeah but the rest of the night will hopefully be a little bit better because I'm actually going out so the, what I mentioned earlier about how I might be meeting someone that is happening we've been texting throughout the day and I'm meeting them for food so this is someone who I actually met with Bumble I think it was on the end of 
it was in the wardrobe like declutter my wardrobe video i met them there so this is the second time meeting them so that's exciting i haven't had that yet so we are going to go to my favorite greek restaurant in morpeth which i've mentioned before nikos so we are meeting there at half eight i think it's about half seven now but little man is going to my grandparents tonight because you're going to go have a few days with mama and grandpa aren't you you are because jack like i said jack's like got the week off so we are actually going to go down to york tomorrow and go to the york markets because i like if you are new at my channel i went to uni there and i didn't get my last year of uni and last year nearish christmas i think it was october time jack took me there to i think it was my birthday present like we stayed in a hotel in york and you know what like christmas just doesn't feel right anymore for me not not have been to york for the christmas markets it's not even like i enjoy the christmas markets I, like i actually find them quite stressful and i'm not really that bothered by the stalls if that makes sense but like it just feels wrong not being in york like it feels like that anyway for me i think because i like didn't get my final year but it just feels wrong having not been to york this year and i also really love the drive and i know that sounds really silly because it's just like two hours on the motorway but when jack used to come pick me up for from from uni for christmas and we used to drive back listening to like michael buble and stuff it was just i don't know for me it was kind of like right it's the start of christmas now and i really enjoyed doing that so now that jack's we were planning on doing it anyway but once we found out that jack sorry i'm playing tug with oakley while i'm talking once we figured out that jack had a few days spare from like in between jobs we thought oh amazing we can go on a weekday instead of going because we were going to go on a saturday and i mean if you know york christmas markets it just gets so busy so we are thankfully being able to go through the week so we're going we think we're going to set off like 10 ish tomorrow so we don't want to have to go to my grandparents to drop oakley off then because we're not going to take oakley just because york is very very busy and it's too it's too much of an environment for him so he's gonna go to my grandparents which he loves anyway he's been there quite a lot this week so i need to drop him off before i go for the meal i don't i'm not gonna vlog on the meal because it was different with yesterday with ellen because ellen i've known ellen since i was what 10 11 whatever year six is year five is uh whereas ruth i have met this is the second time i'm meeting her so i'm not gonna vlog around her but yeah that's what's happening i'm gonna go drop him off at my grandparents once jack gets back from the gym I'm, I'm just editing up until then i would vlog and do something fun but i need to keep up on the editing as you can imagine with the daily uploads so then we're gonna drop him off then i'm gonna go for a meal i i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna go more edit I've, i'm gonna edit more and then i'm gonna go get ready i'm not gonna lie guys i think i'm gonna wear the same thing as i would <laughs> to the meal with ellen yesterday this is exposing me like i <laughs> there has been two outfits in these vlogmas videos so far and it's day what day six this is exposing me really really bad but it's the same type of thing as what happened with the jumper where i only wore them for a few hours and then i got changed again and they're the only outfits i feel comfortable in at the minute so please don't judge me but I will catch up with you once I'm ready. So I am wearing the same thing I wore yesterday. We are with the chunky boots. It's only it's the only thing I can come up with that I feel comfortable in. And I feel like I look okay. So I am wearing the same thing. So Jack's just getting all these food sorted. And then I'm taking him to my grandparents. It is eight now, so I need to get a move on, really. But yeah, that is it. I will try and maybe get a pic like some footage of the restaurant on my phone but apart from that like i said i'm not gonna vlog so i'll catch up with you when i get back hello Hi everyone guys. oh i knew you were gonna do something i saw you peep out in the background um i'm gonna come down here so i can lean my arm on the bench um are you enjoying yourself yeah we are off to bed so i thought i would just come in and fill you in with how the night went it's quarter past 11 what time did i get in uh it'd be like half an hour ago Nah, more than that. We've watched an episode of Foundation. A half an episode. Like, what like a ten. I came in at like ten. Yeah, Quarter past eleven. Okay. About ten-ish. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. So, it was a really nice night. We went, I think I said where we went to. Yeah, Nico's just an egg carton. Um, 
was just because like, I leaned in and I was just like me chilling with an egg gone. Uh, yeah, it was a really nice night. We chatted, had lovely, lovely food. It was just very, very nice. So yeah, then we, I've came home. Me and Jack have chilled for a little bit and now we're going to bed. We have a night without Oakley and we are going to bed early. <laughs> Yeah. Wild. <laughs> Get your books out. Yeah, we're both going to go overhead and read. Have I mentioned, I don't know if I've mentioned on the channel, but Jack started reading recently. Yeah, I'm like, thirds away through the book as well. I can't, on which, how many, is this your third book? Yeah. <sighs> so it's always been like, I've been the reader. Um, and like, struggle to get through books because I don't like, have time to read. In terms of like, I don't like reading when Jack's there because it's kind of just like me ignoring him and Jack's terrible anyway when I read because he just talks to me don't you yeah yeah or, or, or if I fall asleep yeah well if we're in bed yeah but any other time um and in bed like I like just lying and talking in bed and if he doesn't read when I'm reading is when he falls asleep so we don't get to do that yeah. but he started um reading recently yeah so we're actually getting through some books I'm getting through some books. I've smashed my reading challenge. My reading challenge for this year was 12. Um, and I'm on my 15th book. Because, and I do think that is down at you. Yeah. Like, starting to read. Yeah, because I'm reading every night. Yeah. And I've not been able to do that in, so well, since uni, really. Hmm. So, I love you reading. Thanks. Yeah. What are you reading at the minute? Um, do you remember what it's called? what it's called. It's like a Harry Potter thing. <laughs> Yeah, but like Harry Potter slash Hunger Games. Yeah, it's like, um, oh, you guys might be able to, if you've read it, it's like they're in a school and then they've got to survive the school. So no teachers or anything? And... Oh, I didn't know there was no teachers. Yeah. But like, if you don't, you, you can die in the school? Yeah, it's like there's monsters that come after you and then, um, like, yeah, try to kill you. Monsters. <laughs> monsters. Jack says monsters instead of monsters, it's the weirdest thing. Um, yeah, and I'm on the second book of A Court of Thorn and Roses. What's it? Something Mist and Fury? Or something? I don't know. The second one. So, yeah. Part two. Yeah. Well, no. It's got a different name. I just can't remember it. I'm sure it's something Mist and Fury. But you read before that Fahrenheit 451. Yeah. And what was the other one? I Robot. I Robot, yeah, because you were reading that on holiday. Yeah. So I'm dead proud of them. Starting to read and then getting through to the third one. Yeah. Gonna smash it. I've got, I've got, I've got Took three I've years got, to read one book before this. I bought three books last time I was in Waterstones, so um, I've got two more after this as well to read. Jack's got a little section in my bookshelf, so he's TBR. Our bookshelves now. What, you think having three books on there qualifies you as I've being my three, bookshelf? I've got more than three books on there. I own more than three books. Ones that I haven't read. Well, that's not fair. It's not my books, you just read them. What are your books then, apart from my robot? Uh, Hobbit? No, The Hobbit was a joint purchase. It was. He's lying. Um, but I've read that. Yeah. Um, a, um, if you say the Maze Runner books. Oh, you've got Divergent, because okay. I've never read them. You haven't read them in all fairness, I've read, though. I've part of the first one. <laughs> Um, I've got that um, History of Everything, little Bryson one. Jack's had that book since before we got together and he said he's going to read it. I've read it, I've already read it. You haven't read all of it. I've read it, I've read it when I before I met you. I, I don't believe that. We've been together for 10 years for reference. I don't believe you read it before you met me. Did? No. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you <laughs> actually did. Sorry. Right, so you've got three books in there, our bookshelves. It's my room. You've got an office. Well, I'll take them upstairs then. I'll no, take all my books. because it makes it look more full. Why all, all my books make it look full? Well, your TBR yeah. does, because my, that shelf's empty. Because it's my non-fiction TBR. Yeah. <laughs> There's like three books on there. I don't know where he's not going Alright, okay. I'm going to finish this off. I'm sorry, we're rambling for ages. I'm sorry this vlog kind of turned into like just like three sections rather than an actual vlog. But I hope you guys understand why. It was just a... Bit of a weird day, but tomorrow is exciting. Tomorrow we're off to the York Markets, which is obviously going to be another video. So make sure you are subscribed if you want to see that, like next episode of Vlogmas. 
and yeah that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please leave it on like and i shall see you tomorrow bye